This is just a quick tip with jQuery. Um, we did a video a while back about um, about input elements that, or about select boxes to automatically select based on a really small clippet of jQuery um, of actually just a JavaScript function. I'll go back to that for a second. But first, what we're going to accomplish here is that whenever you have a file input, um, I always want the source of the file underneath of it, and I always want it to be a jQuery lightbox pop-up. I don't want to have to do that on every page I do that. So I've got these two here. These are manually put in. Then I've got all these down here, which are also files, and they actually have loaded elements, but I don't want to go through each one, even though it's on PHP loop, and put, it, put this in. So we can make that automatic. Again, using the fact that the value attribute of this is not usually set. Okay, that's how we're going to do that. So let's look back at the select element because that's the same thing. The the value of a select box is not usually set, so we can kind of use it to set it. So let me explain that select box real quick. Um, basically, what we have is we're going to grab all select boxes that have the value set, and using some raw JavaScript. Again, watch that video if you hadn't seen it, but it's actually going to set the value equal to that. Which is, which is literally going to select the element in the dropdown. It's really cool. And in order to use this, all you have to do is, let me just go up here to primary character. All you have to do is set the value in the HTML, and it will automatically select the right guy. It's really nice. So we're going to do the same thing for file inputs. Okay. So this image right here. Currently, what we have is we have the input type equals file with no value, because the value you don't usually set ahead of time. Right? So what we're going to do is we want to dynamically add this portion, which is a, a line break, and then an A tag, which has some CSS on it, and then it has the class lightbox, so that I can add lightbox to it, and then an href, which of course points to the image, and then the name of the image itself. Okay? So we're going to copy that. Okay? And let's go into our utility file. So I have this comment here, add the source of the file given under the file, right? So I'll just put uh, what I just pasted over here to just get it out of the way for now, because we're not going to touch it just yet. So what we have to do is we're going to do kind of the, we're you know copy this because it's almost the same thing, like this. The difference is we're not using select, we're using input, and we're not using value because we need to select where type equals file. That's the first thing. Using jQuery, you can also select another attribute using another bracket like this. So this is going to select all inputs of type equals file that have a value. Okay. Um, then what we need to do is, again, using this get attribute, just like last time, and the reason this get attribute works, so if you didn't watch the other one, I'll just go for it real quick. Getting this dot value, like this, does not work. And getting this dot value also doesn't work. The only way to get the actual value is to do this dot get attribute value. Okay, again, watch the old one if you want to see why. So we're just going to set that to var source equals. And if we just do a quick test, console.log src to do that and that should give us and let's go view uh, developer developer tools okay and if we refresh the page you see here's all of our sources which is great okay and these all these sources are actually uh, all these guys down here so what we're gonna do is now that we've got our source all we really want to do is well first we need the name because we, it, we all we have is this giant URL, which we don't want to put there. See, we would just want the name. So we're just going to grab everything after this last slash, and that's going to be the name of it. So to do that, you're going to do a simple var name equals name equals. And that's going to be source.substring. So we're going to start substringing from what to what. Well, we're going to go from, we don't want to go from the beginning. We want to go to from the last slash. So that's going to be source.lastindex of slash. Okay. Uh, that's going to include the slash, so we want to do a plus one. And where do we want to go to? We want to go to the end, source dot length. Okay. And if we console dot log out our name, just so you can see, like that, that's going to give us all the ending pieces. Perfect. Okay. So now, now we have the source and the name. We just need to add uh, this guy. So we're just going to create a new element called uh, called let's see, light. Uh, what I call it, light boxy equals in wrapped in jQuery. Okay, we're just going to put this in here. Now we need to go through here and fix all of our double quotes that need to be single quotes, or else it's not going to fit in the element because our quotes will die. I'll get to all this in a second. Okay, now we want to get rid of all this 
uh, PHP and just replace it with our source. So we're going to get rid of all that, okay, and add double quote, double quote to get out of the string, plus plus to add a variable, source, okay, and over here, same thing, we want to get out of the J JavaScript by doing quote, quote, and then plus plus to add a variable, which should be name, okay, and that will add, this will be this element, and we're going to use the insert after method, so we're going to say lightboxy dot insert after, and what are we going to insert after? Well, the current element, the current input element, which is going to be this, like that. And now, um, one last thing, the lightbox is applied up here, okay? This applies to all elements on the page. I haven't figured out a way to do this live where I don't have to do this again, but you actually need to copy this and paste that down here, because now that these elements are new onto the page, the lightbox doesn't, ex the lightbox doesn't exist on them, so you have to do this. Save that and refresh, and now I have all of these images down here, let me get rid of this, all these images down here, just like the ones above, and if I click them, there's all of my inputs, and, and all I have to do from now on, and here I'll show you, over here, all I have to do is take this source and just set the value. So I'll just set the value to that, and I'll go ahead and get rid of this A tag, and get rid of this BR, and now I've got clean input elements, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, copy, oh, that's too much. Just copy this source, and I'll set the value. So again, all I have to do now is just set the value. It's really, really nice. Set the value, save, and now I'll refresh. And okay, so here are those two elements. So there's my images, and because I'm using Lightbox, I can actually next through all the images on the page. And again, it's really, really streamlined. All I have to do is just set the value, and I've got these images under every single file input that I have.